Okay, so you might have seen um, things online that ask you to take part in a survey. And in some cases, uh, there are surveys that uh, will pay you um, in, to take part in those. So self-selection surveying and sampling is really all about um, setting up your questionnaire, which you could do now online, and people opt in to actually filling out your questionnaire and giving you responses. Now, the good news about that is that it is very cost effective. Um, you don't have to, uh, unless you were actually giving money uh, out to people who respond uh, as an incentive, um, it is actually very quick to gain responses from it. And that's a good thing. However, I mean, disadvantage-wise, um, the people that would tend to be happy to answer those questionnaires, um, well, they're usually going to be people with relatively strong opinions, either one way or the other, about that topic. That could very heavily influence your results, uh, because there is no random selection of people who are uh, opting to do this survey. In fact, all the people who are opting to do it want to do the survey. So that's part of the problem. So although you'll get a lot of responses and you could get responses very quickly and easily from it, um, they're not necessarily going to be the responses that you want. Now, the online um, questionnaires that can pay you, uh, you often have to go through several um, criteria before you can get onto the questionnaire. And that's due to what we were talking about before with quota sampling. Um, they're trying to make sure they're picking up, they've already picked up the certain number of people from each group that they've already decided upon. Okay, so that is uh, self-selection sampling.